So in 2021, step into a more glorious covenant, a more glorious life in the spirit, and a more glorious ministry of the spirit. So what God is saying to you and me, I want you to step into this. I've prepared it for you. I've given you a more glorious covenant. I've given you a more glorious life in the spirit. I've given you a more glorious ministry of the spirit. Now step into it. And the Bible is telling us very clearly that the new covenant is a more glorious covenant than the old. It's a more glorious covenant. That means you and I Receive and walk in these, this covenant with God in everyday life. Everyday life. In your workplace, you are in covenant with God. In your home, in your family, everything you see, I have a more glorious covenant with God. And I'm going to live out of that. I'm going to step into my covenant provisions and blessings in every area of my life. Secondly, it's a more glorious life in the spirit. A life that can manifest Jesus. God is saying, look, under the new covenant, it's a life, it's a more glorious life in the spirit. Because God is not only telling you and me what's right and wrong. He's saying, I will empower you by the Holy Spirit to do that. The Holy Spirit is at work in you. Changing you and me into the likeness of Jesus Christ. You know, very interesting. He says, look, we whom God has called, we are vessels of mercy. I mean, God has put his mercy on us. His mercy. And we can all say, God, if it was not for your mercy, I don't know what happened to me. We are vessels of mercy. So step into the more glorious. The more glorious covenant that God has for you, step into it. The more glorious life in the spirit. God, I am tired of being in bondage to this sin, to that sin. Get it out. The life in the spirit. The Holy Spirit sets you free from the dominion of sin and death. Anything that is sin and anything that is working death in you, you are empowered by the spirit to be free from. Avoid sins that destroy destiny. There are five sins listed in 1 Corinthians 10, 5 through 12 that Paul identifies and says, these are the five sins that kept the people of Israel out of their possession. God had prepared for it. God had prepared it for them, but they didn't get it because of these five sins. And Paul is basically saying, don't let those same five sins keep you and me from getting in to our land of promise. Sometimes when you are living you're walking under this more glorious covenant, walking in this more glorious life in the spirit and walking in this more glorious ministry of the spirit, it will attract persecution. People will reproach, speak bad of you. But that's when you remember, they may speak bad of me, but Jesus Christ, the spirit of glory rests on me and Jesus is being glorified in my life. So don't worry if you're persecuted because of living this more glorious covenant life. In closing, I just want to give us a bigger picture. See, God has a twofold purpose on the earth right now. That's, uh, there's many things God is doing, but two important things. He's bringing the church to be a glorious church. A church without spot or wrinkle. That means he's bringing us to a place where we, the church, church meaning all believers worldwide, all of us, will be like this. We'll be a glorious church. We will reveal His glory. Secondly, God is also filling the earth with the knowledge of the glory of God. It will be fully accomplished in the millennial kingdom, but God is preparing through the church. The knowledge of the glory of God is filling the earth. So God is doing that. He's bringing the church to a place of greater glory. And through the church, the knowledge of the glory of God, to know how great God is, is going to be displayed. So, how can I, and I'm speaking to us as a church now, as a church, we must grow in faith, power, compassion, and intercession. For the church 
to be this glorious church for this church to see the earth filled with the knowledge of the glory of God we need to be a church full of faith full of power full of compassion